a chapter a day to brighten your way. Jealousy muddles our hearts. Hello, friends. Let us read the Bible together. Today we'll be reading First Samuel chapter eighteen. Whenever Saul was in a bad mental state, David played the lyre for him in the palace to help soothe his emotions. Because of this, Saul's son Jonathan met David, and the two became very close friends. Jonathan didn't even care about everything he had as a prince; he shared it all with David. This was truly a precious friendship. In today's chapter. We will see that because God was with David, he was loved by the people in everything he did. This attracted Saul's jealousy. Let's read chapter eighteen together. First Samuel, chapter eighteen. As soon as he had finished speaking to Saul, the soul of Jonathan was knit to the soul of David, and Jonathan loved him as his own soul. And Saul took him that day and would not let him return to his father's house. Then Jonathan made a covenant with David because he loved him as his own soul. And Jonathan stripped himself of the robe that was on him and gave it to David, and his armor, and even his sword and his bow and his belt. And David went out and was successful wherever Saul sent him, so that Saul set him over the men of war. And this was good in the sight of all the people and also in the sight of Saul's servants. As they were coming home, when David returned from striking down the Philistine, the woman came out of all the cities of Israel, singing and dancing, to meet King Saul with tambourines, with songs of joy, and with musical instruments. And the woman sang to one another as they celebrated, "Saul has struck down his thousands, and David his ten thousands." And Saul was very angry, and this saying displeased him. He said. They have ascribed to David ten thousands, and to me they have ascribed thousands. And what more can he have but the kingdom? And Saul eyed David from that day on. The next day, a harmful spirit from God rushed upon Saul, and he raved within his house while David was playing the lyre, as he did day by day. Saul had a spear in his hand, and Saul hurled the spear, for he thought, "I will pin David to the wall." But David evaded him twice. Saul was afraid of David because the Lord was with him, but had departed from Saul. So Saul removed him from his presence and made him a commander of a thousand. And he went out and came in before the people. And David had success in all his undertakings, for the Lord was with him. And when Saul saw that he had great success, he stood in fearful awe of him. But all Israel and Judah loved David, for he went out and came in before them. Then Saul said to David, "Here is my eldest daughter Mirab. I will give her to you for a wife. Only be valiant for me and fight the Lord's battles." For Saul thought, "Let not my hand be against him, but let the hand of the Philistines be against him." And David said to Saul, "Who am I, and who are my relatives, my father's clan in Israel, that I should be son-in-law to the king?" But at the time when Mirab, Saul's daughter, should have been given to David, she was given to Adriel the Meholathite for a wife. Now Saul's daughter Michael loved David, and they told Saul, and the thing pleased him. Saul thought, "Let me give her to him, that she may be a snare for him, and that the hand of the Philistines may be against him." Therefore Saul said to David a second time, "You shall now be my son-in-law." And Saul commanded his servants. Speak to David in private and say, "Behold, the king has delight in you, and all his servants love you. Now then, become the king's son-in-law." And Saul's servants spoke these words in the ears of David. And David said, "Does it seem to you a little thing to become the king's son-in-law, since I am a poor man and have no reputation?" And the servants of Saul told him, "Thus and so did David speak." Then Saul said, "Thus you shall say to David." The king desires no bride price except a hundred foreskins of the Philistines, that he may be avenged of the king's enemies. Now Saul thought to make David fall by the hand of the Philistines, and when his servants told David these words, it pleased David well to be the king's son-in-law. Before the time had expired, David arose and went along with his men and killed two hundred of the Philistines. And David brought their foreskins, which were given in full number to the king, that he might become the king's son-in-law. 
and Saul gave him his daughter Michael for a wife. But when Saul saw and knew that the Lord was with David, and that Michael, Saul's daughter, loved him, Saul was even more afraid of David. So Saul was David's enemy continually. Then the commanders of the Philistines came out to battle, and as often as they came out, David had more success than all the servants of Saul, so that his name was highly esteemed. Even though David knew that Saul was full of hostility towards him, David still obeyed the king. Through this, we can see the purity of David's heart. Dear friends, jealousy can easily blind us and even slowly erode our hearts, causing us to become hostile to others. Why don't we pray together today? Let's ask God to help us get rid of any feelings of jealousy in our hearts and let the fullness of God's love replace all our insecurities. Everyone's life is the same in that we each have God's best plan for our lives. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, please fill my heart with love and remove all the feelings of jealousy so that I can see the goodness in myself and others. With your presence, I will be victorious. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. A chapter a day to brighten your way. See you tomorrow. Jesus loves you, and I love you too.